Hello everyone. Welcome to Express Video for All. Today we are going to understand all the programs in the Web Technology Lab of Fifth Sem. So we are going for the first program, which is very very simple. In this program, we need to just enter one title, and then we have to explain all the heading, then one paragraph. So we will we are going to see one by one. First, we need to define this doc type HTML. This says which type of document it is and you are saying it is a type of html then you are opening a head tag then we are going for title title will be my best my first web page or it can be anything we can remove this video code you can write your name also you can also write express video for all first web page for express video for anything can be happen then we will we are going to close the head so for closing any tag we need to use this backslash then we are going to open a body tag we need not to use any backslash that is only for closing the tag not for opening then after opening we are going to use this mark you this is going to show a moving text like welcome to video will be going from left to right in a motion continuously then you are going to write h1 h2 h3 h4 h5 h6 what it means it is just a heading so h1 will be bigger in size h2 will be slightly smaller than the h1 and slightly bigger than the h3 so different types of sizes so you are going to mention all of that then you are going to use p tag which is a paragraph tag in paragraph tag what will happen whatever things we will write in that tag would will come like a paragraph and then hr that is a horizontal line one horizontal line will be drawn there then you are going for a again para tag but this type of paragraph tag you are using a one br tag here so what will happen with this br br will add a one enter there just like you add one go to next line and you want to take your program to next line there so you can just add a br tag it will break the line from there then one block quote is there that is used for displaying quotations or excerpt from the another source as it is written there then you are use, using the pre tag pre tag is a pre formatted text what will happen whatever thing is written between these tag uh, in a pre tag all the size gaps everything will be preserved it will be printed as it is nothing will be disturbed there then we are going to understand different logical style tags so these are the tags we need to mention there so first of all is bold then for writing a bold just you need to write b tag then inside whatever you will write will come like a bold text then italicized then underlined so what will under you will use i tag for italicized then text will come slightly tilted for underline you will use u text will come underlined then you will use superscript subscript emphasize strong mark small delete insert and code everything have is or on relevance like sup tag will help you to write the things in superscript and in sub tag whatever things will be written between that everything come as a subscript then same for emphasize strong mark small delete inserted and code so we are going for the next program if, if you got this program you are very very lucky you can come out in 30 minutes or 30 to 40 minutes easily now we are coming to program 2 in this pro program just we need to design one timetable for anything for your regular classes or for your personal timetable whatever you want but in the question it is mentioned that develop a timetable for your college schedule so just take one or two or three lines from your college schedule and design that so first of all what we need to do define the document type that is html then you need to open the html tag lang equal to en is not required if you are using the vs code it, it will come automatically if you are not using it then also it's fine for this phase then we are going for a head tag under head tag you need to mention the heading where you will add a title as a timetable then style this is style tag css which refers to cascading style set 
comes under this and you need to write your whole CSS inside this style tag or one more option is there which is you can write the whole CSS in another file and you can link it in your program so whichever is feasible to you you can do it for here you can just write it inside the style tag so what strategy you need to follow don't write go for first writing the style just leave some gap and first write the whole program then according to your program just style your program so here see table th and td and dot highlight dot elective dot is used for referencing classes and if you need to refer any id you need to use hashtag for that so what will happen first you will come inside the body by leaving some space then you will write the body tag then under that you will in h1 you will write timetable you want that timetable should come at the center so you are giving that this style tag text align center this is a css which will keep your timetable text at the center of the screen so what will happen then you will open one table tag in table tag you need table will have table heading and then rows which are horizontal columns which are vertical so we are going to enter data like a in horizontal way so that things will go correct at each level and each level is sufficient in it so what will happen you will just in t head means table heading you will open one tr tag for first row then you are using table heading th means table heading then you will write your detail time monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday so these things will come in a horizontal way just like this in this way and what will happen then you will close that tr tag you need to close again that t head and t body then again you need to go in t body tag by opening t body then there you will open tr tag again for entering the first row then you will add table data then you will add your 9 to 10 and all the time with row span means how many rows it, this block can occupy and column span means how many columns this this can occupy so using this strategy you, you just fill all all of the rows now we are going to add the table footer for table footer you need to again add a row where you will add the data and you can use column span here if we have used it you can use as you want and at the end by taking some column span distance you can write the end of timetable now you need to write the css for this so what are the things came t body t so t body all other tags main thing is table then table he heading then table data and some class is there highlight class and elective class so we need to write the css for that so table you just give the width 100 percent border collapse collapse then for table heading and table data you give the same css you can use comma for that and then you added border one px solid blacks padding and text align center then you use the dot highlight for referring to the highlight class as that was men mentioned as a class you need to add dot or full stop before the highlight and then you just give the background color anything you can give for the in the exam just write anything black blue or anything then while coding you can just analyze that then same for the elective like this you have to execute these programs in the your exam and just follow this strategy for writing the css First go for the writing whole program then come back and write the style so that you won't mess up the things and you can do things very very easily. These things you need not to by heart just you can write anything. Examiner will be checking the main logic not the styles. Thank you for watching our video. Please subscribe express video for all and be connected for getting more updates regarding web technology and lab.